Hi, and um, welcome back to part two. Um, I'm going to just try and adjust this a little. Uh, that might be a bit better. It's never quite right. How's that? Okay, so um, uh, we got this made out of a cardboard shipping package. And I reinforced the seams with some, uh, what do they call that, gauze fiber and um, I've selected some papers that I'm going to use for this booklet and it's going to be um, seaside I have some um, pictures here I'm not sure whether I'm going to use these or not um, and but I am going to be using uh, these um, I got a bunch of quotes and I've got a lovely um, journal kit I, um, I forget who she's called, but I'll link her. And um, these are a sample of some of the pages. So it's going to be something like this. So, um, and here's more. More of the paper. So I hope you like it. Um, and it, it adapts as I go. <laughs> so, um, it might adapt again as I go but for now um, it's it's like this but I probably will tear these pages down and I might even make this a little bit smaller once I get going I'm not sure but I figured the first thing to do is just keep going so I'm going to um, spray the edges edges all around and um, with some distress tea dye and maybe some uh, blue so it looks like sand and water and uh, try and add some texture and whatnot to this as I go um, so let me just care get that done and then uh, I will be back so I figured better show you kind of what I'm doing here because um, I always forget that part um, so all I'm doing is taking the spray and just spraying, of course, the spray doesn't always work. So that's all I'm doing, just going around the edges, spraying most of the edges, and uh, then I'm going to um, come back to you. So, um, I don't know what's with this product I have plenty in here and I'm shaking it properly but it seems to be intermittent with its spray see what's going on here sometimes it does and sometimes it don't shake it spray it Oh, yeah, aren't they great? Okay, so that's obviously not working, so I'm going to have to figure out what the hell else I'm going to do. Um, there's lots in here, so maybe I'll just paint it on. So, uh, happy little accident. I got some onto my wording, which I like better than this. So, I'm going to spray them off a little bit if I can get this to work. Oh. Yep, a little bit. Nope. Oh, Lord. There should be a uh, website or helpline for uh, this product, I think, uh, when it ain't working. Because I found a number of them that just don't. They just don't. I mean, they, they do for a minute or two when you first start. And it's great. But um, I, they just don't seem to <sighs> stick with it. So, anyway, um, let's forge on here and figure out what the heck we can do with it. So, um, I'm trying to move on here and try and find something that's going to work. So I'm going to go with just putting some blue, um, uh, dark blue dye ink on the edges and all around like a bit all around. And um, 
Then I'm going to spray it because it's water reactive ink and um, so I, like here's I'm just getting all the edges with this ink everywhere everywhere fairly thick I've got a big brush and I'm just putting it on everywhere okay so then I'm going to spray it with water and um, let it run and uh, show you so I'm giving that a good squirt letting that run and that's the one good thing I'm about using this thick cardboard because I was debating that whether that was um, going to be the right thing to use or not so but it seems that for this it's going to be going to work out okay. So I'm going to do the tops and let it run down. And then um, totally soaking this. Just branching this so that it can move in the direction of the water. And then I will go back and add more. So, um, yeah. So I'll add more of the blue. And let that just keep running. And adding to that outer edge. And then, um, like I like that, that's coming nice. I'm just going to really stick around the edges more than on the seams. So front and back. And just keep adding color. And then once that's... I'm on the outside, I'm going to do... Um, um, well, I don't know. I'm just going to keep it, adding it to see where it goes. So it's looking cool, I'm thinking. So keep adding water, letting it run. And uh, then I'm gonna, I don't want any lines, so just keep adding and then uh, letting that get darker. So just add more, more, more blue. And, um, I'm going to just work on the top edge right now, get that to run, and then I'm going to turn it over and do the other side once this has um, really run and gotten um, just the way I want it. So, I don't know. That's the great thing about this. It gets you... Uh, Oops, sorry. So I'm going to spray some more. Let that run all around. Beautiful. So different intensities is um, cool. And then I'll probably add some oxide on here after this. So I'm going to let this run and dry and then I'm going to turn it over and do the um, bottom up. Hope you can see what's happening here. I'm loving that. Just loving it. That's great. Okie doke. Let's um, 
I'll come back to you. Okay, so um, this is how it's drying. It's still wet because it's cardboard and it soaks up a lot of water, that's for sure. But um, I thought I'd show you where I'm at so far. And I'm really glad I put this gauze uh, material on to um, reinforce the binding because it would have ripped for sure and fallen right apart. So I'll flip this side over, show you where we're at here. So, like I said, it's still a little bit damp, but I'm quite happy with it. It's turning out pretty cool. And um, I want to put some oxide on now because it's a little bit damp, so it will move a bit, but also um, it's fair, a little bit dry, so oh, I'm hoping that it's uh, wet on dry, um, adds, builds color, and wet on wet. Um, blends so it's it's damp so let's see what we get put a little bit of this oxide on there and uh these are just the oxide uh, refillers the ink refillers so uh, let me just try it and with you here and uh we'll see how it goes so i'm going to come down just a bit from there like that and then I'm going to spray that. Mm. So I don't want to cover up all my blue. So let me think. Um, I'll probably add some more blue under top under over again later and uh maybe put a little less oxide on when i when i do that maybe go on a brush let's try that so it's oxide so you have to shake it up it's diluted a bit and see what happens when we paint that on there instead and then spray And, uh, yeah, if your hands are like mine and they never come clean, just with soap and water and, you know, singing happy birthday a couple of times, I'll just use this. And that seems to, hand sanitizer works really well to get all of that off. I buy this big mega size and it works good. And, um, okay, so I'm liking that a little bit. Liking that. For a bit when that dries up might be pretty cool so i'm going to go back in here add more of this along the tops along here and along here all over and spray so that's the fun part you see what you get you get what you get and I can move some of this over here. Just have to be, I don't know, just put it on. Don't get crazy. Don't get precious with it. It's just uh, paint and cardboard. Okay, so. I'm going to put more blue back in there because I don't need that much. But it's always a different thing once it dries, too, so you kind of have to see where it ends up. See where it ends up. And uh, there we go. So Spraying again, tops and bottoms, and a uh, little bit of a tear there. No big deal. Okay, so that's that's where we're going. We're gonna let this dry, really dry. I'm gonna go take a cup of tea, 
and uh, then come back and uh, see where we're at. It's already been a bit of time.